just a gift. Hello. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Hi. Okay, Hello. so just to give everyone some background, okay. Um, I am Ilian, the editor of Homo Singapore. And with me, the beautiful Rebecca Lim. Also, my beautiful December cover model. I'm just going to open love, this. love, love, love. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm so glad to hear you like You love that. Yeah, thanks for having me twice this of year. Of course. Um, okay. I mean, and over the course of my time with her, well, let's not disclose. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just to give everyone... To be cover girl huh? twice this year, to be cover girl twice yeah. this year was... Like, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I've always loved having you on our cover. You know, you always bring a different, a different feel. People always think that as you would have read if you bought and read the December issue of her world. That, you know, people always think like Rebecca is the girl next door. I mean, no doubt she is. But, you know, that is her personality. But in terms of her appearance and uh, her style, she can, she is very multifaceted. Mm, I hope so. I'm going to try to open this. Very, very, very secretive. This. Okay, I just want to show what's inside the issue. Oh, I know why it's so hard to open. I bought this. I literally bought this. See, got priced that. I didn't even like get oh, it just free. <laughs> I know, I didn't even get it free, even though I'm the editor of her wall. <laughs> I bought it free. I bought it from Kino Kunia because, um, and it's very taped because you could see that we have a free yes. bag with the paper bunny as well. Um, and it's included in every issue of the December issue. Yeah, I love it. I love the bag. I actually yeah. bought three copies. Well done. So the one of each. So one of mine, one of Shuman's, one of Jeanette's. That is yeah. so sweet. And also because I wanted three bags. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So yeah. I know just to give um your our followers and our listeners some background about Rebecca. Literally at ten PM she WhatsApp me and like Hey babe, we are going vertical or horizontal? <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So, and that is Rebecca for you. Yeah. Like, you know, if anyone who like, you know, do not know her, <laughs> that is Rebecca for you. Very real, you know. Because this is my <laughs> second IG live. And the first one I did, um, the, it was a setup because I had to rush straight from a photo shoot. So it was already set up. But yeah. for this one, I just had my dinner, you know, and I set my alarm at 9.50. And oh, after you messaged me, yeah, message me, I was like, oh no, so how should I set my camera, my phone? <laughs> no, but okay, but I know you are doing more very soon, so you definitely won't be a stranger to it very soon. Yeah. I'll be tuning in to yours. Thank you. Okay. I need a, a new so. curtain, for sure. <laughs> you need a new what? Curtain. I oh. Like, bro. <laughs> like it works. Why it works. Okay. So just to let everyone know the topic of our conversation tonight. So if you have read our December issue, uh, it's really about uh, Rebecca's career, her personality, and you know how she's so well loved by you Singaporeans, <laughs> by me too Thank as a friend. Um, yeah, and I want to show for those uh, who haven't bought this issue for to take a look at Rebecca. Yeah, I love these photos. I you know, you can carry it off because you're tall. So <laughs> shit. This long jacket. Look, not everyone can do it, okay? And Ricky knows how to capture my, my best angle. Look, look at her makeup oh my by God. Sean. So nice. Yes, Sean Lee, Dexter, Windy, Xiu Ping, Wee Kim, Cindy. Everyone and the whole her world team. Everyone made yes. this so nice. And Please, the LV can... outfit on the cover, the Louis Vuitton outfit. I love it. Very, very chic. I love, I love it. it too. Okay, so that is like, you know, the behind the scene, heart to heart kind of conversation we had um, when uh, Rebecca came over to my house to eat your grape for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> So now we're going to have more fun questions, okay? We really want to ask you about your secondary and primary school life. Yes, um, and also because last, last night I re mm. reposted the Her World post. Yeah. And I said if anyone has any questions, they can leave comments on the picture. So they will go through your questions. You have many questions? Well. Okay, oh, so at 10.20, like okay? Let's go through some of the questions at 10.30. Yeah, sure. 
Okay. okay. I do have some from the her world, uh, her world readers as well. Okay. Okay. So my question is first. Okay. Uh, what yes. were your favorite subjects in school? In primary school or both? Uh, wow. Primary school, honestly, I and don't learn from me, but I actually didn't really like to study. <laughs> <laughs> I was a I was a very late bloomer, so I only started to do a lot better in school when I was in secondary three. And this is to encourage okay. all the students who just got their PSLE results as well, because I did not do as well uh, for my PSLE. But it's okay. never too late because I think everybody blooms at a different stage in life. Mm. So for me, it was much later, thankfully. Um, but in primary school, I used to love recess because I didn't like school <laughs> at all. But it changed when I was in primary three because that was when I started to um, get enrolled into the tough club, you know, the trim and fit club. Cause yeah. I was old. So my recess was spent doing like duck squats in the hall and uh, exercise. Wow. Yeah. So That's I didn't tough. really enjoy. I didn't, honestly, I didn't really enjoy school that much in primary school. Okay. And then um, in secondary school? Secondary school, yeah. In secondary school, it got very clear. I enjoyed physics and design and technology so much. Mm. The, the more boyish subjects, but I mm. enjoyed them so much. I did cause, And also because I did so well. <laughs> so you did really well in physics and... Which design is the other subject you mentioned? Yeah. You did very well for them? Yeah, very well. Wow. Yeah, which so is I, your I worst subject? Like, my own books there. Yeah, I, I went to the the technical lab to build my own uh, book stands, um, some wooden. Wow. Wooden yeah, I had you interest actually, in building You, you actually got to choose in school because for, for me, is it because I'm older than you? I had no choice. We All girls had to do home economics. Mine was a, a double. So home econs was first half of the year and then design and technology like the second half. Oh, that's good. They should offer <laughs> that, huh? Yeah, it's so I did more, People. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what were so? Do you remember besides like you know doing dark squats and everything? <laughs> besides that, what were your favorite thing to do during recess? Like, what was your favorite food to eat during recess? Wow. Hi, Sarah. One two one four from Malaysia. Oh wow, my favorite food. Um, I think if anybody shout out if you're from CHID Saint Nicholas. Because I was there for 11 years since I was in pre-primary. Oh, yeah. um, so I was there all the way. Um, and there's this orange bowl uncle. So he sells like very basic bato me. Oh, Someone I see, mentioned oh, orange bowl. Some people know about orange bowl exclamation mark. Yes. Oh, okay. This uncle, he sells very nice uh, fish ball noodles. Mm -hmm. Just very simple. It's like bihun. I always order like mi fen tang, jia rou, jia yuan, jia la jiao. How much do you remember it costs? One dollar. <gasps> Just one dollar. I wish there's still oh. like food price at this. Yes. Nowadays. And then I'll spend 60 cents to buy ice Milo. <laughs> it's my it quite expensive, right, for Milo? Huh? 60 cents is quite expensive, right? Uh, it, it is. I mean, there are the, the cheaper options. So there's a chin chow, there's like 20 cent chin chow, and then there's yes. like soft for 50 cents. But Milo only came much later um, in secondary but school. More premium. So it was huh? like, wow. Everybody wanted the Milo. <laughs> <laughs> so the drink store, Uncle Uncle Mobin was very entrepreneurial. He charged a lot more for the ice Milo. <laughs> no wonder, 60 cents. Yeah, 60 cents. <laughs> okay, so what ECAs were you in in primary school and secondary school? Ah, wow. Um, CCA, I was in, yes, yeah, so cheap food. Oh my gosh, I see a lot of people saying. But that was my time, now inflation. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was in primary school, I was in choir and badminton. Okay. In secondary school, I was in symphonic band. What band? Symphonic band, I played the saxophone. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then in JC, I was in hockey. So every stage, I, I wanted to try different things. Yeah. But for secondary school and primary school, I was in track and field, but the yeah. field area. So I did like short putt and javelin. Ah, so I, was you're very athletic, huh? <laughs> I was big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were actually very athletic, right? I was, I was always okay. like a few years ago. Ah, I see my friend Mark. 
Oh, Hi. nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they all know me since primary school, so they, they will attest to the fact that I was huge. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a do you have a, like a primary school photo of you like at hence rich right now? I do. You always tell me that. Let's show me at the end of, of the of day. You've been telling me this for years that you used to be tough club. You were overweight, but you know I've never seen a picture of you. Okay, okay. I will. I'll, I promise to show it later. Like just a glimpse. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Susan Lim. Yes, Miss Susan Lim. Someone left a comment. Miss Susan Lim, the PE teacher. Is that a teacher? Yes. Was that your favorite teacher? She was one of my. I I really enjoyed going for her PE lessons. Oh why? Why is that? Mm, I mean, everyone I, loved she, PE. She, like. was, she was. I I didn't really enjoy PE. Um, oh. Um, but because I I didn't like uh, as a as a Compton girl. Um, after PE, we had to put back like wear our pinafore again. Yeah. So I didn't like the feeling of you know I'm so hot and sweaty and then I still had to put on my pinafore. Yeah. You know, so and but her lessons were really fun. So the first week Miss Lim came, she looked so fierce. Like, I mean, I don't think she's tuning in, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I tell you, the fierce teachers are the best. They're... Yeah, yes, My favorite yes. teachers from school, they were all very fierce. Oh yeah, I mean, every teacher was very fierce to me. Cause, but I deserve it. I wasn't a very good student. <laughs> yeah, but I there was a math teacher who made a very huge impact on me, Miss Quack. Okay. I believe she's still around because um, every year I will go back and help out in the secondary to school camp. And okay. I'll always see her there. So my math wasn't very great, but um, but she always would stay back and give myself and a few of my close friends extra lessons. Oh, that's so sweet. So, so that was something that I really appreciated. I mean, I didn't enjoy it initially because I was like, I just want to go home or I want to go yeah. and McDonald's and, <laughs> you know, hang out with my friends. But when all levels came and I did really well in math, then that was when mm -hmm. I, I really appreciated it. You know, speaking of McDonald's, right, that was going to bring me to my next question. Like, what do you, what would you go uh, and do after school when you're in I mean, by school, you'll go home, right? No, what? Where do you go? <laughs> Secondary school, I would think you'll go with your friends, but oh my god, primary school already, where do you go? The mama shop to buy what? Like I said, I wasn't a very good student. <clears throat> so you I, loiter I, at the void deck, huh? <laughs> I pity my mom. I was I was a very bad daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making up for it now. <laughs> um, I mean, because my brother is was and is a star student, my sister as well. Oh, They're right. both like, prefect, you know, and then like, wow. in the community, but I was like really just trying to get by, you know, and always, uh, the discipline mistress always call my mom in school. Oh, wow. I, I coloured my hair in oh, school, and I oh, kept wow. and I but Did you make your skirt very short? <laughs> no, I didn't, because I, I didn't put <laughs> my lips, but not my, um, mm. No. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You knew that your legs weren't your, like, when my skirt. So that's the reason why you didn't make your skirt short, lah, not because it's not right to. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> not very low, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love your reasoning. Totally makes sense. Totally. Yeah. So. So where would you go after school? Or in primary school? Um, take new friends out. <laughs> I will walk down to the school. Um, I eat Taohui with my friends. Oh yeah, someone mentioned about the Taohui store. Oh, yes, Taohui store. Yeah, yeah it's, someone mentioned. Uh, very old school chicken pie, also good. Hi everybody, oh, wow. thank you for leaving comments. Seriously, food, good food, are perfectly good reasons why you don't go home right after school. It's fine. <laughs> my mom was like, no, I don't know whether she's very happy with me bringing this up, but... Well, I turned out well, so... <laughs> yeah, you know... But to everyone listen, to everyone tuning in, please listen to your mama. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you, the whole past has to happen before you reach where you are today, which is good and successful, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, I think yeah. So I can see you. Okay, is it better? Yeah, I think it's better now. Okay. Yes, I can see you clearly. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Okay. Were you one of those students, right, and those uh kids that would spend hours talking to your friend on the phone? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no words. No. No. No sound. Just like the mouth. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And you know how? Like, okay, I have this strange memory of remembering. You know the topic we are, we are having tonight, okay? You should have like prepared yourself and not have yes. your mom around. <laughs> um, I got a, I got. My... <laughs> yeah, it's very uncomfortable talking about this, no? Because my mom is just outside. <laughs> yeah, but you know, my first, oh. the first ever hand phone that I got for myself was wow, actually how uh, step I went to a party during my time where they hand of those, those like value size meals. Okay, Rebecca, I got to try to request for, for you. consecutive 10 days and then you got... Okay, a there's a bit of lag. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, Rebecca. Like, you have to finish the... Okay, sorry, the there's a bit of lag from your side. Could you try to go on data or like Wi-Fi if you're you not already yeah. so that's what i did to get my first just phone. switch your are you on data or yeah, without my mom's so try to yeah see we have these comments that say that Re rebecca your site is lagging okay do you switch your connection can you hear me okay i think you're fine okay testing testing Yeah, a bit, a bit still. Yeah. Okay, what is your connection yeah. now? Are you on Wi-Fi or are you on data? Am I okay? Can you try to go on your data? Okay, no worries. So like, pull down oh, should I go off and, come back? and then uh, turn off Wi-Fi. Whoops. Okay, Rebecca has left us for a moment. Uh, sorry, everyone. Thanks for giving us the feedback that Rebecca's site was lagging. Um, as if you have joined us earlier, you have known that this is Rebecca's second live show, second IG live. Okay, so uh, give her a chance, let her reconnect with us, and then we'll continue to ask her more fun questions about her school life. Uh, in the meantime, let me message her and tell her to come back with us. Thanks for your patience, Colin. Thank you, Ravi Shamin. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Rebecca's fans. Okay, where is she? Okay, let me message her, okay? Okay, so we have more fun questions and she is going to answer the questions that you sent her on her IG. There's Rebecca coming back to us. She has sent me a request to go live. Thanks, Jereen. She is coming on. Thanks, Sarah. There she is. She's back with us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Back. Yeah. Back. Okay. I think you're fine so far. Yeah, I got my leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it your mom? It's okay. Your brother? Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Okay. Is... okay. No, I'm not. Oh no, still lagging. Oh no. Right? I think I'm still lagging. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll be back in okay. one minute. Okay. Okay, we'll wait for Rebecca again, okay? Just hang on tight. Um, if you have just joined me here today, I am Elian, the editor of Her World Singapore. And I am going live with uh, Rebecca Lim because she is the cover girl. One of three cover girls for our December issue. Uh, which is also Her World's 60th anniversary issue. And I also saw a comment earlier about um, how do we get this magazine. I know it's really hard to find because I had to go find this uh, myself. I have been given one issue but it wasn't enough so i bought mine from what's the price that okay yeah i bought mine from kinokuniya and um the good thing about the december 60th anniversary issue is that 
it comes with um, a free reusable bag from the Paper Bunny in every issue. Yes, Kinokuniya uh, Oreo Dree. Um, yes, go to Kino, Kinokuniya. And we also have a little Christmas booklet from Jewel, you know, where you could tell where to, the best places to eat, to shop for your Christmas buys. And yes, uh, Leishian. Um, Rebecca's covers with her work are always so chic. Um, that's why we do love going, uh, we do love having her on the cover for the reason. She always have like different persona. Okay, Rebecca is coming back with me. Hopefully there's no more lag to that tonight. Hi. Yes, yes, it's oh, fine. Good. Yes. So oh. good. It's lot, it looks a lot sharper as well, your, your screen. Okay. okay, that's great. Okay, don't worry. You didn't miss out. During the commercial break, I was telling everyone more about your oh, cover. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please get the cover. Um, the December issue, you can get it anywhere from, um, from the petrol kiosks, um, certain mini marts, some bookstores. Yes. Um, yeah, hopefully you will. I mean, I've read through the entire issue, and oh, what I love about her world is um, the stories that they share are very real and very relatable. Yeah, yeah it's not I mean so that's what of this world. Yeah, I'm so sorry, everyone, for the technical difficulty. No, everyone was so patient and so wonderful. Yeah. They were like, "We'll keep waiting." It was so so, everyone was so sweet. It has okay. to happen every time I'm live. <laughs> it's fine. I'm okay. So sorry. Um. Oh, I also want to ask you, right? So, do yeah. you used to exchange letters with your friends? Oh, yes. And how, and like, how long would you write it? Oh, it depends. Um, okay. There used to be, you know, these um, stands where you can collect free postcards. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. It's like <laughs> ZO postcard or something. Yeah, in, um, in a few areas like Sydney Leisure here. Right. Those correct, were the correct. places that I like hang out. <laughs> and, um, correct. So they had a lot of free postcards and then you would go and collect. So it was very fashionable for me then to, for, for us. Hey, Dexter, hi! Hi, Dexter! <laughs> uh, for me to uh, write letters and then we would scotch tape or staple the postcards and then we would give it to whoever uh, we, seniors, juniors, yeah. So, so how would you pass letters in school? Um... Either like during recess or if you knew that, okay, this class was going for a PE lesson or music class, okay. then you would run to the class and then like put it under the table. So or cute! Just, uh, or just during assembly and then you just pass. Sean Lili! <laughs> Hi, Sean. So, have you ever like tried to pass a letter during class itself? Yes. Have you ever got caught? Yes. I've ever got my entire school bag thrown out of the <gasps> classroom. I love that side of you, Rebecca. Seriously, like this whole <laughs> Singapore sweetheart, the girl next door, you know, uh, she's multifaceted. <laughs> no, we have to learn the hard way. You know, that was when I realized, okay, I have to. I mean, it comes to a point where, I mean, these are now I can laugh about it. Yeah. But I'm kind of glad that I went through that. I mean, I wasn't mm. all that bad. I was just very mischievous. And and then you see how heartbroken your parents are. You know when you get into trouble, or when uh, when the discipline mistress calls your mom to school, or yeah. calls your mom over the phone, and and there comes a point where you will be like, okay, I think I better stop and not do anything silly anymore, and just concentrate on my studies and be a good girl. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I also want to emphasize the fact that just because um, you were a bit rebellious and mischievous in school, it doesn't mean any, I mean, it doesn't have any serious negative uh, repercussion on you as yeah. an adult today, you know. Yes, we all have, it's all wonderful school memories. Yeah, and we yeah. all have a journey, right? And yeah, we all have a journey when we still meet each other and we talk about how, yeah, I, I was quite, the attitude, they will call me ice ice princess in school because I really did not smile much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to find the my my primary school picture so at the same Ooh. time. Okay, while you do that, okay? Yes. Um do you also use the past like around an autograph book? Around yes. Maman's your Yeah? Yes. yes. Um so people would write um like things that they like, uh colours, favorite colours, favorite movies. Yes, yes, yes. You know? 
Wow, oh, so many people leaving heart shapes. Thank you so much. Yeah, so love. <laughs> yeah, okay, so speaking love. of that uh, autograph book, right? I'm gonna ask you some questions based on how we would fill up those autograph books. Okay. 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 As now or then? Ah, uh, now. Okay. 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 So, what is or are your favorite music? Oh, my favorite music. Um, it's a mixture, you know. Some days okay. I really enjoy listening to um Chinese um love songs. <laughs> like who? Uh, like which singers? My J Cho, J J Lin. Mm. You know, and then some days I like listening to rap. Some days I like listening to just musical. Some days I like listening to acoustics. So it really depends on my mood as well. Um, yeah, and See, and what I'm one kind of multifaceted. <laughs> yes. Oh, Blackpink. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. What about favorite books? Books. Mm. Mm. Quite a few. Um. Like fiction, non-fiction. I like Mitch Albom's books. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm yeah now I'm rereading some of his books and like Tuesdays like, with Maurice and yeah Tuesdays with Maurice. I like books that are pretty uplifting or uh, biographies. Yeah. Mm. So which is the most recent book you've read? Mm. I've only started reading a little bit, like maybe like two chapters of the Michelle Obama's book. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. So I stopped for a long time. <laughs> uh, I should really, really, really start again. Yeah. So. Yeah. In these kind of like real life stories, you know, about um how people came from nothing to something. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, I love that too. Yeah. And so there's always a question. Yes. From Nathan, is it Nathan Hung or something? Your favorite colors. My favorite colors. Mm. Uh, black and white. Oh, why? Hmm. I don't know. Just, I just like white and I like black. <laughs> In terms of clothing or oh, clothing, definitely yes. Yeah, uh, I'm always seen in a white or black top. So today I actually initially wanted to wear something white, and my sister was like, "Go pink." <laughs> That's so cute, <laughs> sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You're always very neutral, basic colors. Yeah, I think it's not easy to match. I like to match with accessories like watches, earrings, a nice bag, and then I keep my outfit simple. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm working or I have an event to go, then I'll just go all out. <laughs> of course. Yes. How about uh your favorite movies? Um, mm, I think Pretty Woman is quite a classic. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty Woman. I think Woman. it's not very feminist, but um. Yeah, yeah but I, mean, I don't know. It was yeah. Some I like Julia Roberts. So. Yeah, she's very charming. She is, she is. I mean, she hasn't really done anything that... I mean, I haven't really seen any of her work recently. Mm. But, um, yeah. Okay, I also have a question from the comment box about what is your favourite animal? My favourite animal, dogs. Yeah, I mean, you have a retriever, right? Yeah. I, love I used to have a retriever, unfortunately. Uh, he passed away like, three years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't know it's so no, long ago. No, it's okay. Yeah, he passed away actually the night before Star Wars when I won Best Actress. Oh no. Yeah, so a lot of people were saying, why is she, why does she look so unhappy when even though she has won Best Actress? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but actually, I was just very sad. Like the entire night was very sad. Of course, I mean, accolades are great, but accolades yeah. do not replace the the people or the animals you love. You know. All right, I was in a very beautiful Elisa gown. You know, I had very nice like earrings and all that. But, and I won the Best Actress award, which was yeah, wow. You know, a very unexpected win because the competition yeah. was so stiff. But, uh, a part of me was just very broken from, yeah. My 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 dog passing away. So, of course. yeah. Thank you. But I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> have another question about what is your favorite country besides Singapore, of course. Mm, my favorite country, I think to travel to would be Japan. Mm, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. But mm, but I've been to Switzerland about eight years ago. Okay. For a photo shoot, and I. Really want to go back there again. Why? Mm, because I went there for work. 
uh, I really didn't have much time to explore the place. But mm. I, all I remember was it was just everywhere was beautiful. The air was so fresh. I went with Sean Lee actually. Sean Lee. Oh, sorry. nice. <laughs> Sean Lee. <Lili. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't been to Switzerland, but it's, uh, no, it sounds amazing. It's so beautiful. Uh, everywhere, it's a, a, a very... Well, we were, last year we were in Paris during Fashion Week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Was, I, I mean, Paris, we, you, were, you were very busy, I mean, so was I. But so we really only got to share like a long car ride together. <laughs> we were caught in the jam for about almost two hours, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But we had so much fun at the Hermes factory. That's right. Wow, that was really, mm. really interesting. Yeah. And it's something that not many people get to see. So it was really like lucky of us that we could go. Yeah. Okay, many questions okay. coming in. Yeah, who is it? It is, but I want to start asking, how about you want to address some of the questions that your your fans have asked you on your Instagram? Oh, yes. Or I asked my from Her World Singapore. Okay, let me speak. Um, hello, Kido, K-E-E-D-O. Well, he said, hello, any tips for students taking O-levels or E-levels soon? Mm. Mm, well, I mean, the tip would be to just do your best for this period of time. Because after this, think about it, you can relax for as long as you want. And you can enjoy your holiday period, you know. So it, it seems very um, trying and very tiring to be studying. And exam after exam, there's so much pressure, but... At the same time, don't give yourself too much pressure if you cannot remember everything or if you feel like you didn't do so well. I think just let it go, move on, focus on the next paper. Mm. Um, just focus what you have on hand. Siu Ping, hi! <laughs> Pretty girl. <I'll> comment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have one. Um from her world, Singapore's account. Yes. Um, what are some factors you look out for when you decide to choose a degree? I mean, choose what you want to study in university. I actually, I mean, I studied accountancy and I majored in law, but I didn't actually really plan on doing that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to be a doctor. Mm. But... Um, a lot of circumstances and it would be a very long story which we don't have time for but anyway long story short um, I couldn't go overseas to study and so at that time SMU was a relatively new university so they yeah. extended the application deadline and I thought okay why don't I just apply for the most um, stable degree there which was accountancy <laughs> very Singaporean thinking yeah. <laughs> and then uh, when I was in my second year, I realized that I actually didn't really enjoy accountancy, so I decided to take a second major in law. Mm, I yeah, see. I prefer reading and writing, as opposed to numbers. Yeah. Okay. Wait. There was this important question for my list that I forgot to ask. Sure. How young were you when you had your first crush when you were a kid? For me, six. I think. Oh, okay, that's quite yeah. mature by then. I don't want to say oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, also because I was in a girl's school. Yeah, correct. So, um, so we so didn't really have a Sorry? How do you know this boy then? Uh, my brother's friends. Uh, so did he ever know you had a crush on him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. how? You told him or your brother told him? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't tell him. I think it was very obvious. <laughs> But everyone was making fun of me because I was this fat girl in who had a crush on this uh cute boy. Yeah, so it was very hey, sad. Have you found a photo and, or not? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. I found a... Um, uh, okay, oh, sure, sure. ask another question first while we... Okay. okay, so hang on tight if you want to see Rebecca's old fat photo. <laughs> yeah, a uh, pleasantly plump, a uh, cute and adorable. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, pleasantly plump, very uh, endearing. Yes. Uh, yes, very endearing <laughs> photo. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, mm. this is a good one, okay, um, from okay. one of her world's readers, um, called Ray Earn. How mm -hmm. do you actually deal with friendship problems? 
Um, I guess you have to evaluate whether or not the friendship is worth salvaging, you know, because um, from my own experience, because of my character, um, I, I forgive very easily and I forget sometimes, <laughs> you know, but I'm very easy to, in, in any relationship with family, with friends, um, with anyone, you know, I'm quite a giving person. So I think that there will be a point where you feel like you cannot give anymore mm. or the other party um, just keeps taking advantage of this kindness. Yeah. yeah. And then you get tired. Oh. And then you realise, hey, actually, the other party doesn't value the friendship as much as yourself. Then mm. there's no point. Yeah. Mm. I, you know, because at, at every stage, you meet different people and you have different friends for different... Um, times in your life so that's what I really believe in yeah I mean just because a friendship doesn't last forever it doesn't mean that it wasn't valuable when, while you had it right I mean mm -hmm. as, as humans as adults we grow and we change yeah. and we have yeah. different friendships in our life we all have memories with each other as well so exactly yeah. okay um, oh. hi everyone Suzanne so, do you, any more questions from your fans? I think mm -hmm. I've asked. There's some, but uh, before I go on there and I lose this picture, which I took a while to find, let's take a brief look at this, okay? Yes. Okay, this is a really a little bit better already. Okay, okay. Okay. Ta-da! Yeah, I can see your features. Uh -huh. Okay, la. It's just like baby fast that you took longer to lose. That's all. This was a better picture already. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> there were others like me in a, in a swimming costume by the beach, but no, no, no. <laughs> PC, PC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, PG. Hi from, hi from Indonesia. Hello. Yes. Okay, so is there any more questions that you want to address from your fans on your Instagram? Hmm, pack packs. Oh my gosh, my university classmate is here. Oh, so cute. That's nice. Hi. <laughs> Long time. Somebody no asked about your experience in VJ. Well, someone said I look like a man, thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's meant for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um Yes. What did I sorry? What was your experience in VJ like? Uh it was good. Um, maybe because I was in hockey, mm. so all the uh, memories were made through hockey and um, the training sessions, um, and we won championship for both years. So that was something. Wow! To, yeah. Well done. Um, I want to share a bit about how if you haven't bought the December issue and actually read Rebecca's story, um. I want to share a bit about some really funny tidbits from the interview we had. Like, when Rebecca shared with us about how life was like during the game breaker <laughs> for her. She said doing she was break? only in... How life was... Uh, how, how life was for you during circuit breaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I life think my favourite part... My favourite part was that um, you only had three outfits of pyjamas that you were in. In yeah. rotation. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm. And you yeah, literally that's... did not leave your door, like your no. house at all. Not even step out of the door. Not I even know. I didn't even take the lift. I didn't even no, nothing. Yeah. You and it wasn't out of paranoia of like the virus or anything, right? It was really because you are so happy and so like comfortable. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it did help that I was a homebody. I mean, right from the very beginning already. So I didn't really feel um, trapped at home. Mm. Um, and also, I guess the entire pandemic made you realise how precious family time is. Yeah. Because as we had this luxury to be able to stay at home in our pyjamas, there were so many frontliners that had to continue to fight and to be at the front lines for us. So that really... I guess there was this part of me that had to be responsible in a way. 
Of course, yeah. Yeah, because people were making huge sacrifices and I didn't want to just leave my home whenever I, whenever I wanted to. So, I mean, my mom did the groceries. Um, my brother and my mom would take turns to do groceries. So, mm. there wasn't much for me to, to do. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, I one last question. Okay, do you remember that when we had those autograph books, right? You know, we always write these little lame poems in them. Mm. Do you remember what you would you used to write in your friends' autograph books? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, very lame stuff like you know, drink hot coffee, drink hot tea, burn your lips, and remember me. Oh wow, that's a, I never heard of that one. Oh really? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I knew, but, yeah, because for like for graduation, right? Hey, yeah, Martini. Hi, Martini. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for spending your evening with me and her oh, work. Thank you so much. Yes, I look forward to having you on our cover again and then yes, uh, catching up in real life with you. Yes, really soon, okay. right? We'll be seeing each other soon. Yes, Friday. See you. You know, yes, but I, I just want to say, I mean, uh, for a lot of my fans and a lot of people tuning in, um, thank you so much for joining us and being so patient with all my technical difficulties all the time. I will improve <laughs> for the next live session. Um, and also, thank you know, Christ you so much Christmas everyone. is coming up. So, yes. Yeah, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Treasure the time that you have with your family. Be safe if you go out. You know, remember to wash your hands. <laughs> and um, yes. treasure your mask. Okay. Yeah. And I've prepared a, you, a special for um, my fan club as well. Yeah, which I will not tell you all the details here, but stay tuned for a surprise. Yay! Okay, thank you, Rebecca, again. Thanks, everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, thanks.